A good way to predict how well a wall panel will withstand the weather is to evaluate its joinery system. For reliable long-term performance, horizontal joints must address the natural forces that help water penetrate a wall system. Gravity, surface tension, capillary action, kinetic action, and pressure drop. Because gravity will pull water into any downward opening, a joint should be sloped slightly upward. Since water naturally runs toward the exterior face from an upward joint, this eliminates one potential problem. Surface tension allows water to cling to the underside of the joint and gradually work its way inside. A joint with a drip edge will prevent seepage. Water runs until it accumulates enough weight to be pulled off by gravity. Capillary action can draw water into any extremely narrow opening. By controlling the joint opening size, a capillary break is created. Combined with a drip edge, a good design will address this potential source of leakage. Kinetic action, the force of wind-driven rain, presents a greater challenge since water can penetrate a wall through the dynamic forces of airflow. This is the force most commonly blamed for water leaks. A series of internal baffles can dissipate the liquid water held in moving air and neutralize the kinetic force. The most troublesome weather condition is the combination of kinetic force and pressure drop, known as pressure differential. Water will be literally pulled in even through the tightest joint when air pressure inside of the wall is lower than the air pressure outside the wall. A pressure equalization chamber vented to the exterior within the joint mounts an effective defense. Three elements are needed to truly equalize pressure. An outer wall to serve as a rain screen, an inner wall to act as an air barrier, and a cavity between the two barriers that is vented to the exterior. To effectively equalize pressure, the venting should be able to adapt to the size of the joint as larger cavities require more venting. Vents should be protected so they can't become plugged with water. Otherwise, they quickly lose pressure equalization and water builds up within the joint. Trapped water poses a host of moisture problems and often penetrates to the inside. The details of joint design are significant. To evaluate joint and panel performance, tests simulating wind-driven rain are conducted on three horizontal wall system designs. In a static testing chamber, two versions of a vertical panel joint design are installed horizontally. Panel A is based on a bottom-to-top construction process. Panel B is installed with top-to-bottom construction techniques. These joint configurations simulate competitor barrier wall joint constructions. A one inch gap in the exterior tape seal of each horizontal joint is used to simulate field imperfections. Breaks are also created along the liner side air barrier and temporarily sealed with tape. Next to this wall assembly, panel C, a formal wall dimension series horizontal wall system from Centria, is tested under identical conditions. The test focuses on documenting what conditions allow water to penetrate the joints and the interior of the chamber. In joinery systems that are not pressure equalized, such as panels A and B, water will rise within the joint based on the difference in pressures across the panel. This chart presents the equivalent wind speed in miles per hour pressure in pounds per square feet, and water height rise in inches. The maximum test pressure applied while the wall is subjected to water is from 10% to 20% of the positive design wind load per AAMA design guidelines. High performance pressure equalized joinery systems, such as panel C, perform at 15 PSF. This pressure will cause water to rise 2.88 inches in a joint that is not equalized. Air is pumped out of the test chamber to create a pressure differential simulating the inside of a building where the air pressure is lower than on the outside. 
Water is sprayed on the outside surface of the wall, simulating a rainstorm, in accordance with ASTM E331. This standard requires the spray heads to be calibrated to 5 gallons per hour per square foot. By varying the negative pressure, we create conditions comparable to rain and wind up to 77 miles per hour, which is equivalent to 15 pounds per square feet of pressure. In this particular test, the pressure inside the chamber is lowered from 0 to 10 PSF below the outside pressure until the joinery begins to drain water through breaks in the air seal. The maximum PSF of 10 is equivalent to a 62 miles per hour rainstorm. Inside the test chamber, we can view actual conditions within the panel joinery and the back of the wall. The digital gauge indicates the actual pressure that is being applied to the joint in inches per water. Remember that 1.93 inches per water height rise equals 10 PSF of pressure. Looking through a plexiglass cutaway window at the cavity in panel A, you can see water enter the joint cavity. As the internal pressure drops, water fills the cavity and penetrates to the interior. Joint B, which has air barrier breaks at the bottom of the cavity, shows water leaking to the interior almost immediately. In real-world applications, it's extremely difficult to completely seal the exterior of a building using sealants. As this animation of panel A illustrates, when there are inconsistencies in the exterior seal, breaks in the air barrier at the liner side joint seal will allow water to leak into the building. To demonstrate this in the test chamber, holes are drilled at the sealant location and sealed with tape. Removing the tape simulates a sealant or gasket gap. Water rises within the joint and leaks inside. Even if the liner side has a perfect seal, water trapped within this type of joint can cause metal corrosion and foam delamination. The formal wall dimension series panel is exposed to exactly the same conditions. The pressure rises but there is no buildup of water as pressure equalized rain screen joinery prevents water from rising within the joint. Rain screen joinery prevents leaks and moisture problems within the joint caused by broken air barriers. So air pockets in shop sealant applications and oversights in field sealant installation won't cause water leaks. To simulate the effects of a broken air barrier once again, Tape is removed from the liner side air seal of the formal wall dimension series panel. Even with a broken air seal, no water rises within the cavity. To measure the actual pressure within the panel joint, a second gauge is used. When the outside pressure is 2.88 inches of water height rise, equivalent to 15 PSF, the pressure within the formal wall dimension series joint is close to zero inches of water. The panel joint is effectively pressure equalized to the exterior. As this test proves, a rain screen joint design offers superior resistance to water infiltration. Centria's rain screen joinery also eliminates the potential deterioration caused by trap water. And since the system does not use exposed horizontal sealant, the wall panels stay cleaner and provide better long-term integrity. Curtain walls with rain screen pressure equalized joinery systems are better able to withstand the forces of nature, gravity, surface tension, capillary action, kinetic action, and pressure drop. In other words, they're ready for the weather. <laughs>